What's going on everyone and welcome back to Roll Pets where today we're gonna be talking about this brand new update that dropped and it's all about playtime rewards, new player rewards, old player rewards, definitely very interesting update, not your usual type of update, lots of stuff to talk about and I'll tell you guys why towards the end of the video but for now we need a pet to age and what other than a sunset panda, why not, why not? Let's go ahead and age this because we have to have those aging needs all done. Once the new player rewards are done, then we can move on. Whoa, something was different there. What was that? Oh, wow, look at this. They updated this. Look at the tiniest details. That is amazing. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Burn those calories. Get that summer vibe going. You can do it. So we're down to that first pet need and we have four more to go. Let's look at these rewards. We got a new pet link that is not tradable. Because if it were, then a lot of people that have all these alt accounts, they're gonna have all these mushy pet things and then create merges here and there and get all the legendaries. That's gonna sink the pet thing economy. So that was a really good call to make this one non-tradable. And we have a rowboat. I cannot believe this is actually happening. We are getting boats in this game. The XP potion, I'm gonna talk about that later on. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's get these rewards done. Let's collect everything and see what we get. So the first one, obviously is a compact car. Let's just skip all this process. So as a new player, they get a free, mushy, common pet thing that's non-tradable, which I think is really nice of Ro pets to do. It gives them a feel of what pet things are and maybe encourages them. And as you go along, you get the tokens, you get the coins, the paper airplane, which is really cool to have. And then something that I haven't hatched in a while. Let's go ahead and hatch it because this egg only has commons and, and uncommons. That's it. And we got an uncommon. So that's one. That's the best rarity from this egg. Now moving on. This is going to give us gems. 50 gems. That's what we do if we wait like a week with the logins. And I'm excited to see this. Guys, I'm super excited. I cannot believe this is happening. I really want to see this and see how it handles because every single game has different mechanics, I guess. Like Overlook Bay had the worst. Whoever did all those boats in Overlook Bay had to be maybe a young person, beginner, never had like experience or whatever because it was horrible. Like we don't even want to talk about that game anymore. It was horrible. But this, I'm actually trying to see if this can go off road and it doesn't. They, they did it right. <laughs> they did it right. And it's so fun. It's so fun. Obviously, I can't drive this or I can't handle this very well. Oh, there's all these rings as well. Okay. That's a nice touch. What? I'm, how am I going to get to that? What? What if I jump? <gasps> it, are you kidding me? That is so fun. That is a lot of fun. Oh, just robots. Come on, make this make this bigger please don't oh man it's gonna it's gonna end <laughs> don't end that was a lot of fun that was super fun now here's a part of the update where everyone or almost the majority of people are saying is the best part of it and it is the age up potion and it's basically as it says and it ages it up fully it can go from row kid to row tween with only that potion and I'm just gonna have to demonstrate because when I saw this, I couldn't believe it. How can it do this? Like I thought XP would be just like a, a small, maybe like it cancels out a task or two, but no, it took it to the next level. I personally think that as a normal, like any player who gets on the game and has these age up potions, it saves them a bunch of time, especially like the younger people. However, like adult gamers on this game probably have like multiple devices and they have all these accounts and probably like maybe even auto clickers and they have them running and they just don't need to worry about these xp potions even though they can't trade it they can trade their pets from one alt account to another until it's fully grown so that's a huge advantage if you decide to play that way now after you're done with those new player rewards this pops up the daily playtime rewards which offers you all of this including three age of potions now Let's look at reward eggs and also the silver capsule to see what they're about. 
Now imagine the green egg, the red egg, and the new yellow spotted egg. I'm just gonna call it the yellow egg. Imagine all of that combined into one egg. That is the reward egg. It only offers a basic pet, and it always has all the rarities, not including the event pets. So, it gives you 40% common, 33% uncommon, 17% rare, a 6% chance at an epic, and 3% legendary. Let's go ahead and hatch this and see what we get. Hopefully we get a legendary, but I, I doubt it. With my luck lately, I doubt it. Let's see what this is. It's a zebra uncommon. All right, it's not a common. Basically, it's, it's still good. It's still pretty good. I, I love the zebras. Now let's talk about the silver capsule, which is the capsule that's gonna destroy petting values. And I'll tell you why in just a moment. But check this out. This contains a higher rarity pet thing, 50% uncommon, 30% rare, 50% epic, and a 5% chance at a legendary. Let's hatch this. Let's go and see what we get. Hopefully something pretty good, but you know, it stinks. It's a skunk. <laughs> it stinks. My luck stinks. Now, if there's one thing that I have a feeling, a really strong feeling about, it's that the pet thing values are gonna sink. I'm not sure if it's gonna be anytime soon, within a week, two weeks, eventually, because of the silver capsule, it will go down fast. And speaking of the silver capsule, again, check out Jo right here with her legendary pet thing that she hatched, and it is a sunshine. That is amazing, congrats to Jo. So I'm gonna end this here, I'm gonna first of all take away the lilac shark because someone already won that, and I'm gonna be giving away two prizes this time, not one. Two prizes, whatever prize goes first, goes to the first person picked. The second prize goes to the second person picked, that's how it goes. I really hope that you enjoyed everything that you've seen today. If you did, it would mean a lot to me if you can leave a like down below and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. That means so much more to me. And guys, that's it for today. These are the prizes, let's see what the first prize is. It is, oh! so close to the gold capsule but the first prize winner gets a cranberry zebra and let's see what the second prize is gonna be and by the way the next rope it's vid is gonna have three prizes from this wheel and oh there's a gold capsule so the next one is gonna have a crimson shark gold capsule bunch of zebras and warthogs so the first winner the first winner of the cranberry zebra is gonna be Erica, congrats to them. The update is not the best so far. <laughs> yeah, it's. I think that they're preparing themselves for a major, major, major update. And now for the second winner who just won a gold capsule, it's gonna be. Oh, Christy! Alright, Christy says she's really enjoying the commons and uncommons, although it would be nice to remove the commons from the, <laughs> the evolved eggs totally agree with you i absolutely agree with you congrats to both winners i really hope that you guys have a wonderful day or evening wherever you are in the world and i'll see you all on the next one